Hello everyone, welcome to the Java example section. In this section, I'm going to set up a bank account with the capability of handling um, transfer of money between two clients. First, I would create a bank account object, and from that bank account, I can um, save and withdraw money from this account. And when I have two um, bank accounts, I can tell the bank account to transfer money to other accounts. Okay, let us see the implementation of the bank account class first. A bank account would have a balance, which is simply storing the amount of money um, in that account. Um, a bank account would correspond to a certain person. So for simplicity, I simply make use of the uh, client name to represent that um, bank account. In reality, we might use um, the account number instead of the name of that uh, user. I set up the constructor for a bank account um, object and what I, I'm going to do is simply um, setting the name for the, that account together with the balance of that account. Here I simply pass the value received from the formal parameter into the um, instance variable. And at the beginning, the bank account would have uh, no money inside. Um, since um, an instance variable is uh, uh, set up to be zero initially by the Java, this step is not necessary for Java. Okay, this is one of the important properties of um, object instantiation in Java. And then I would create some methods to obtain the um, instance variables which are set to be private. I will get the balance I've also got the name of the uh, account. Then I can set up the deposit method. I'd like to um, put some money into the account so I can use the deposit method to do so. And I want to uh, add some amount into the account, the balance would be increased by the value represented by the amount variable. I also print out a statement that tells the people the amount of money that client has. Now I set up the withdraw method that helps the client to remove some money from the account. But we have to notice the balance issue. If the amount that is going to withdraw is um, more than the um, balance value, we cannot allow the withdraw action to proceed. So I have to handle this situation in my um, implementation. How can I do that? I can do something like this here. Let 
uh, let me handle the situation that allows the uh, withdrawal when the amount is smaller than the balance. I simply deduct the amount from the balance. I will show the balance of that client. Um, if this condition fails, I need to do something like this. Here I say that the withdrawal by the particular cli client fails. Okay. Um, to be more precise, I can say something here. If the uh, amount is smaller than or equal to the balance, I can allow the withdrawal. It means that the balance can uh, return to zero after the withdrawal. Okay. After that, I can say the uh, transfer method. Okay, how can I handle the transfer um, capability of the bank account? Of course, I need to check whether the transfer is allowed. If the balance of a certain client is less than the amount that is going to transfer, um, this situation doesn't allow us to do the transfer, so I would say that the transfer fails. If this condition fails, I will go to the else part. That means I can really do the transfer. The balance of the um, object that initiates the transfer um, will be deducted by the value uh, denoted by the amount variable. And the account whose reference variable called, uh, called ACC will receive the amount so that the balance of that account will be increased by the value denoted by the amount variable. Okay, so ACC is a reference variable that points to a bank account object. Okay. Here I simply print out the balance of the first client or the client that initiates the transfer action. I also print out the balance of the client that received the uh, transfer. Okay. So this completes the um, transfer method. Now I can go back to the um, driver program. So before doing so, I save the bank account .java file. 
Okay, and then I can go to the um, driver program. For the driver program, I can set up um, some bank accounts. Now I set up the, an account for Tom. Then I can tell Tom to um, deposit $500. And after that, I can set up another um, bank account. Uh, the bank account is owned by Sandy. Okay, so Tom now has five hundred dollars, and for Sandy, uh, I haven't put any. Um, money into this uh, account of Sandy. So uh, now I can put some money into Sandy's account by using the deposit method. I want to put um, $200 into the Sandy's account. So now Tom has $500 and Sandy has $200. And then I can tell Tom to transfer some money to Sandy. How can I do that? Let me go to the transfer method. Here I want to transfer a hundred dollars from Tom's account to Sandy's account. So um, in the transfer method, uh, this here refers to Tom and ACC here refers to Sandy. Okay. And after the transfer, Sandy can withdraw some money from her account. She wants to withdraw $50. And after that, she wants to withdraw more money. She wants to withdraw $600 from her account. Is it possible? Let us check later. Finally, we can get the balance of Sandy's account. So let me save it and run it. Okay. After the deposit, Tom has $500. And after the deposit, Sandy has $200. And when Tom transfers $100 to Sandy, Tom would have only $400 and Sandy would have um, $300. Okay, the extra $100 um, dollars comes from Tom's account. Okay, when Sandy has um, $300, she's able to withdraw $50 from her account. After that, she has $250. Okay. And when she wants to withdraw six hundred dollars, uh, the program doesn't allow her to do so because her account has less money than the amount she wants to withdraw. So the withdrawal fails. And when I want to get the balance of Sandy, I simply call the get balance method, which returns two hundred and fifty dollars. Further proves that the withdrawal of six hundred dollars from um, Sandy would fail. So this completes the bank account with the transfer capability. Okay. My code is straightforward and intuitive, but it may not be always the best or the most in, uh, efficient solution to the problem. 
If you can suggest any idea to improve my code, please do so on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.